Okay, this video is going to be all about the maintenance and servicing daily checks on your machine to ensure that it keeps operating smoothly. All right, so your machine has a built-in water tank that feeds the drum as well as the pressure washing system to clean up the drum. Um, this tank can be filled up either with the pipe provided by dropping it into a water tank or a stream if you are out in the Bundus or you can use a water tanker truck and just connect the pipe directly onto the valves. There are different settings depending on if you want to pump, suck water up through the pipe into the tank or from the tank into the drum. This all changes depending on how you turn the valves with the provided red handle. There is a sticker on the machine that indicates which way the valves should be turned to do what operation with pictures from the pipe directly into the tank for example or from the tank to the drum and so forth. This is all done from here. As well as while you are pumping your water into the drum for your mix, is cannot be seen from the cab. This needs to be watched on your flow meter, which can be found on the tank. So it is a two-man job. While the water is pumping, you can see on the flow meter how many liters of water is being pumped into the drum. So you can then stop the water depending on your recipe for your concrete. That you can see over there. Most of the maintenance and servicing of your machine will take place in the rear compartment where your engine is housed, your transmission is housed under this cover here, uh, and then checking your tires and so forth. Um, most important for the machine to operate properly is to make sure the engine is maintained, which you can find inside here. Part of your daily checks that you need to do is make sure you have enough coolant or water inside your cooling system, which you can check here or by opening the cap on the top and seeing if you can see any fluids in there. Checking your oil, your dipstick is slightly hidden. Check your oil, stick your hand in here, find the yellow handle of the dipstick, pull out the dipstick, check your oil, make sure the oil is in between the two dots, not above the dot, preferably right in the middle. This needs to be checked every day. Other components can be found inside here is your alternator for charging your battery, your air compressor for the brakes, you need to check your belts, Just give them a push, make sure the tension is good, you have your aircon compressor up top as well as your turbo. On the side of the machine you can also find your hydraulic oil tank, this stores all the hydraulic oil used for the hydraulic system on the drum and the lip. On this side of your machine, you can find your air filtration system. This machine uses two air filters, a primary and a secondary. Always make sure that these air filters are clean, free of dust. If your filters have not been changed in time, there's too much dust inside the system, the dust will enter your engine and it will need to be repaired or replaced. On this side, you can also find your diesel tank with a gauge, you can see your diesel level. Always make sure you have enough diesel for the work you're doing in the day. The caps for the tanks do lock. Keys are on the main ignition keys for the machine, so that no theft can take place. Your battery compartment is fine in this door here. You can see your batteries. It's a 24 volt system, so it uses two batteries. On this side of the machine, we have another water tank. The water between this tank and on the other side is shared, so if you fill one, both will be filled up. Um, this side of the tank essentially only feeds your pressure washer that comes with the machine. Because as we know, part of maintenance on any machine is keeping it clean. Dry concrete in a drum is not good. It needs to be washed out every day, either by pumping water into the drum and emptying it out, and also spraying off any concrete that's fallen on the machine with your pressure washer. Okay, as we've discussed in the walk around, 
Your daily checks on the machine are very important. This includes all fluid levels, engine oil, engine coolant, hydraulic oil, transmission oil. You also need to make sure everything is greased properly, your wheel nuts are tight, tires are up to pressure, machine is clean, they have enough diesel. There are more items that need to be serviced. You can consult your manual. Um, you can also feel free to phone our service advisor if you need, have any questions or need assistance with servicing or if you need a quotation to come out to site to service your machine free.